Well, today I'd like to uh, talk to you from about the tw uh, from the twenty third Psalms, and uh, I'd like for us to just look at it a little bit, like like it is. The Lord is my shepherd. That was David, of course. Now David knew how to be a shepherd. So he kind of knew what he wanted when he picked the shepherd for himself. He kind of knew what it entailed. What did he tell Saul? He said, when he's tending his sheep, he said, a lion and a bear came. Well, he said, it took the lion by the beard. I can't imagine that. But he, had, he knew the feeling of protecting his sheep. He must have been, <sighs> adrenaline must have been flowing. And he took that line by the beard. He also killed a bear. Well, he said the Lord is my shepherd. He knew what it was going to take to protect him. And so he said, the Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. In other words, if I make the Lord my shepherd, He's got me covered. He'll watch me from all sides. And he'll take care of, of my needs. The Lord, choosing the Lord as your shepherd. Hmm. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. Not just any pasture, but a green pasture. I believe it was Keller in a book years ago that I read. I don't remember for sure, but I believe it was. Keller's talking about this fence this fence, on one side of it was green, lush pastures. And the only other side of the fence, it was dry and barren and very little to eat, dusty. And the sheep had eaten everything they could from that side they reached under the fence as far as they could. And then they spent a lot of time trying to find a way to get through the fence. But they couldn't. But there's green pastures over there. And what <laughs> is happening here this fence has been taken down for David. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. I have a pasture to eat and I also have green grass to lie down in. The Lord is my shepherd. He's my shepherd. Let's talk a little bit more about that tomorrow. God bless you.